a little place off the Edgeway Road, Raven was a hysterical fellow who had dreams where he was in a huge dark underground grave that connected to every grave in the world containing the masses of death flesh ready to rise again anytime soon. On a rainy day, he went to a disused theatre which was somewhere off the Edgeway Road. The play began and the subtitle said Pompilia, betrayed by her beloved Augustus, seeks an end to her troubles. A small man felt his way through the darkness scrapping past Craven's knees. Craven had an unpleasant feeling of a large beard brushing his mouth. He then sat next to Craven. On the screen events moved so fast that Pompilia already stabbed herself or Craven's pose. Happened. Is she asleep? But no. Dead. Murdered. Stabbed herself. There was no blood at all. Craven thought he was in danger of going mad. Am I going to be insane as him? Craven thought. He when you murder a man, this was a woman. That wouldn't make a difference. And that isn't a murder. I know about such things. What are you talking about? They say it was all for 50 pounds. That's a lie. Such suppositions. Killed herself, you say? Who knows? It's not a mere question of whose hand holds a knife. And he laid his hand on Craven. It was sticky. The man in my position gets to know everything. Your position? Based on the tragedy. What? To think they call Colin Mews base water tragedy. The small man coughed at Craven's face, spraying him with damp breath. The moment the small man left, the screen went blank and bright. The film had broken. Craven could clearly see the smear on his hand. This wasn't hysteria. He rushed out of the theater, but he was too late. The man had gone. He went to the roof to call the police. It didn't take two minutes to get to the right department. There was indeed a murder committed in Colin Mews. But when Craven reported about his encounter, the police said that the murderer was found. It was the body that went missing. Craven then saw in the mirror above the telephone his blood-sprinkled face. I won't go mad. Won't go mad. Triple I stories to come.